Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to enclose our computer manufactory. So, that building over there. And uh, then we need to do uh, a little bit of revamping uh, on our storage situation because uh, I'm pretty much out of room uh, with our current storage. And... I don't really want to keep expanding that way for a couple of reasons. I don't want to, you know, mess up the conveyor road that we have here, A, and B. Um, it's going to make make the storage too long, so I'd like to make it a little more compact and uh, use space more efficiently. Um, so, that's uh, what's in the works for today. Before we get started with the actual uh, building, however, um, I want to get mark five uh logistics and um so let's work on that first that won't take us long at all in fact we already have everything we need to make this work um so we're gonna need 100 aluminum sheets 200 encased industrial beams and 300 reinforced plates all right so let's gra uh, grab that stuff first we needed 200 of those, so we'll just grab 200 out of here. And I want to make sure I keep some of those with me, too. Uh, reinforced plates. We needed 300 of those. So one, two, three. Let's get those put in first. Okay, and then we need 100 aluminum sheets. Let's go grab those. The aluminum little production aluminum production bit that we have over here is, is temporary. Of course, you guys, if you've been watching all along, you'll know that. But uh, maybe not everybody that's currently watching knows that. Watching for the first time. Okay, so I think we needed 200 of those. Let's maybe grab two stacks of aluminum sheeting. And that will get us into... Logistics 5, Mark 5, which is the highest we can go. Uh, rumor has it, however, that when they come out with 1.0, uh, we'll have a Mark 6 logistics, uh, from what I understand. But for this playthrough, uh, we only have Mark 5. Milestone reached. Improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. All right, I guess that's all Ada has to say to us. And now uh, we can to go to logistics. We can now make Mark V, and both of those things require aluminum uh, sheeting to make. The Mark IV and the Mark V look very similar. The only difference is that the Mark V has like a little kind of rail, I guess, yeah, rail for lack of a better way of saying it, on top of it, whereas the Mark IV does not. Plus it's got, uh, the Mark IV has kind of got like a polka dot pattern on the belt, whereas this has kind of more like a chevron pattern. Um, so that's how you tell those apart. Okay, cool. We got that taken care of. Now, um, next thing we're going to do is work on the, our building here. Uh, the, the storage revamp is going to take some doing. Um, I don't know if we'll get that entirely done in this episode. We'll just have to see how it goes. But I've got a, I've got a plan for this building. It's not going to be uh, super fancy, but it should look pretty nice by the time it's all done. Um, so let's take these walls out here. get these over here as well okay we don't need this ladder here so let's get it out of the way and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a combination of steel walls and concrete walls and we're going to start 
here. Let's take that all the way up. Uh, wait. No, never mind. We're not going to use concrete walls. Just steel walls and windows. I have to stay close enough to the building to keep my hover. Alright, so... Let's go up to there. And then we're going to go across the top. Bring that down to the ground. And then we'll go over two and bring that up to there. I wonder if it would be worth my while to just temporarily put a a tower there so that way I can just draw power from it. Yeah, I think we will. All right, so we got that done. Um, let's also, uh, we might need to do the same thing over here too. Okay, we'll put this corner piece in. Uh, that, of course, is going to have to move. Uh, ultimately, it's not going to be there anyways because of the fact that we'll be putting this in storage. Uh, maybe what we'll do for now, though, is... Let's just turn it that way. How many computers are in here at the moment? Decent amount. All right, so let's take all of those and put them all in there. And we'll pick that up. And then we'll just run a line into there. I'm not even worried about it being straight because it's temporary. Okay, so that gets that out of the way. Now, for our corner piece here, we're going to go to architecture and we're going to Grab a small metal pillar. And we're going to put that right on the corner there. And zoopity doop it up to the top. Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. Um, how about if we put you right there? I will, of course, need to redo all of the power in here, too, but I'll probably just do that off camera. Okay, how high up can I go before I get out of range from of that? Okay, about that high. That should be good enough for our purposes, though. Okay, grab another pillar and... Put that in place there. Okay, so now I also want to run this across the top. But to do that, we're going to need to take a wall and put it temporarily there. Uh, all right, let's lock that in place for a second and move it in. I think I actually like that. Maybe. All right, let me try this again. See, it's either going to go there or there don't know. I think I want it to be down one. Just because of the way it'll look with the walls. But, you know, we can always redo it 
later if it's, it doesn't work the way that I'm thinking it will. Okay, so that doesn't quite come all the way where we need it. So why don't we do this? Just put a wall here. And put that there. Oh, wait a minute. How did... See, that one's flush. Hmm. It must have had to do with the height that I put the other wall. I like that. All right, so we're going to actually go off of that instead. I need to kind of pay attention to where I, I did this, though. So it's basically right about in the center of the, of the wall. Let's actually leave that in place for the moment. Because we're going to have to redo it on this end to get it to behave properly. So I think it was down about there-ish. We'll try that. Yeah, I think that's right. And we'll have to clip that one into there. It's... Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. I likey. Oh, you know what, though? Damn it. I think I intended for that to hang out there. And actually, I guess it isn't perfectly lined up. Now that I look at it. Alright, let's do this again. I didn't uh, sink it back far enough is the problem. But let's get that about halfway down. Alright, lock that in place, but now let's move it to there. That's where I actually wanted it to go. So that's why it's it's flush with this one. Okay, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. So it's we're right on the underneath side of that fifth corrugate there. So let's try and remember that for the other side here. little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Somewhere right about there-ish. Then move that in and clip it together. There we go. Okay, that looks okay. It's not perfectly flush with that, but I'm not going to worry about it for now unless it becomes an obvious eyesore later. And then I might mess with it some more. Very good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get... Let's see, yeah. Right, we're going to use these paneled windows here. And... I believe I will keep them the default green color because that's part of our color theme of our factory. Okay, so for here, I think what we're going to do here is let's grab... Mm, 
that and bring it up to here. Here, we gotta take that out for a minute. And then we'll put windows here. All right, let's get back a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, we'll go with that for now. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, basically what the sides are going to look like. Um, on the other three sides, since we don't have the conveyor road going in, it'll just be three, three windows going up. Well, will it though? I almost think... It might look better if we do this. I don't know. Um, but here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build the other three walls. Um, and when I'm finished uh, with that on the other three sides when I finish with that I'll bring you guys back and then we'll get the roof in place and then I'll you know after I kind of get the other ones in place I'll decide if I want a single window or three windows obviously we can't do two because then it would be offset so it's either got to be one or three all right so I'll bring you guys back when the rest of these walls are done all right guys we're back uh, <clears throat> I have all the walls in place um, and I also was thinking about uh, this top rail a little too hard before. There's a much easier way to deal with this, so I'll do this last one. Basically, you just put a wall there, a wall there, and a wall there. And then that way you can get it lined up perfectly flush. Like so. Uh, both on that edge and also across the top. And it even goes far enough over to intersect whoop, into there so I, you don't have to do any fancy pants stuff. It does have a little bit of the texture flicker thing going on, but that's okay. Okay, let's get those out of the way. All right, so that takes care of the building. Uh, walls uh, for the the lower section here and I just put you know one of those sliding gates in at on all four sides of the factory next we're going to work on the roof and I'm gonna do a pyramid style roof and when I was um, testing this uh, excuse me um I realized that this game seems to be missing a very essential piece for pyramid style roofs and I have no idea why it's missing this piece here but the right side up version I have no idea why they have the upside down version of this but not the right side up so basically this is the piece we would need for this corner but you know flip the other way and um that's really odd. Maybe that's something... I don't know if that's an oversight or if there's some weird-ass reason for it. I have no idea. So, the next uh, best thing that we have that's going to work for that then is going to be... And it's not going to be perfect either, but it'll get the job done. And it'll kind of give us an interesting pattern too when it's all said and done and that's these guys which I just had to go buy off the awesome shop too 
Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna put that in the corner there and in all of the corners. So let's get this one over here too. Uh, that power is going to be a thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have to worry about that later. Okay, turn that this way. There. Okay. Now, what we're going to do for this first section is we're going to... Stop it. Uh, we're going to grab these frame walls. And we're going to put them in okay, Why are you being a pain in my ass? No, I guess that's correct. Okay, so we're going to put those in here. Come on, snap. There. I was uh, not wanting to snap the way that I wanted it to. I think it's just maybe a little bit confused at, uh, as to where to go because... No, stop it! Uh, because we've got a bunch of... Uh, well, more than one edge there for it. Okay, so that takes care of that first layer. Now for the second layer, hold on, put that away, go back to here. We're going to go to it, do, it does have this outer corner roof piece, but it's too shallow for um, what I want to do here. We we just need this in the in the steeper grade version. But as far as I can tell, we don't have it. So what we're gonna need to do then is let me see, what am I looking for? I'm going, yeah, we're looking for walls and we want steel walls. And we want this eight meter corner. Okay, so let's put these in place. Then we're going to switch to these. Bring those down like so. Okay, so that takes care of the second layer. We need to put in that temporarily so that we can Get the next piece on top. Like so. Come on. There we go. A little bit of a pain in the ass here. Good. Okay, and then again we just grab these, put them along here. And at this point, it's pretty much just wash, rinse, repeat until we get to the very top. Come on, get up there.
Oh, did I double that up? Yeah, I sure did. And then we switch to this wall. And so on and so forth. Okay, so I will bring you guys back when I'm finished with uh, the roof. And I'll show you what we're going to do with the, the very top of it. I'm wondering if... Um, let's just grab one of these and put it in the center. So that way I have some um, power for the hover. Okay, I'll bring you guys back when we get to the top. Okay, so we are up at the very top. I think what we'll do for here is we'll put in a glass frame foundation. Nice. And then we're going to grab the big frame pillar. I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I want to do now is let's remove this temp uh, temporarily. We we need to get power up here. Uh, so I just have to figure out how exactly I'm going to do that. The main power comes in down here. So what we might be able to do with that. Get that out of the way for a minute. <coughs> so those power lines there are going to stay put. You know, that one, all these cables coming in. Let's get all the way down to the bottom here. So what I think I want to do then here is let's grab a wall outlet. And let's put that, <clears throat> excuse me, put that there. Grab this wire here and connect it to the this insulator. And then we'll connect that to there and get rid of this wire. Uh, Alright, here. Let's take this out. Why do I still have two wires going in there? Is there a power pole inside of here? Ah, yes there is. Okay, that's why. That's, I think that's go actually going straight up. Now that I think about it. I'm trying to not disrupt the power here, so, oh. Let's remove that now, too, then. Okay, so that's the other power pole. I see what's going on. All right, so what we're going to do is bring this up to here. And as always, when it comes to power in this game, Anything that's touching 
I just consider that to be on conduit. Okay, let's run that directly to there. We should be able to now remove this and this. And this is this isn't necessarily going to stay that way either. But we should now be able to remove this other pole here. And not lose power. Okay. That should work. I think we're good there. Alright, let's get you back in place. Well, first we need you in place. Okay, so let's see. We've got these kind of little stair step thingies all going all the way up through here. What I'm thinking though, actually, here, let's pick this back up again for a minute. And this. Is let's. Oh, you're not going to attach to that, are you? Oh, you at okay. It attaches up there. Interesting. Well, this will probably work okay for our purposes. Uh, you know, for getting power all the way to the top. I'll have to kind of figure out how that's going to work for the wiring down here later. Okay, let's get you back in place. Why don't we also... that and get rid of this. Okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect into there and just take it all the way up to the top. Like that. Okay. Now, before we go any further with that, can I get this out of the way without falling? Yes, I can. Okay, good. I put in some temporary connections here just to keep me afloat. Keep me hovering here. I think the next thing we're going to do is get some lights in here before we finish the tower outside. I guess these aren't actually connected any longer anyway. But we've got this line here that we can draw power from now. Yeah, let's do lights next. So uh, we'll go to organization and ceiling lights. And I want them, I want the power to be in the center. 
and I think in order for this to work we're gonna have to glitch one in that way one and that way one for the spacing to work out on this because it doesn't like to be really close to another light is the thing so go that way one and that way one okay now we'll flip this around and do the same thing on this side good So, all right, if we then take you and put you down here, well, actually, no, I think we need to even do that. Let's just run right to the light. And then we can just daisy chain the lights to each other like this. How does that look from down below? And it does a pretty good job of lighting most of this floor up, too. It's a little dark in the corners, but... Looks kind of cool, too. Um, I'm almost thinking that I would rather put you here. and run like this. Wait. Yeah. That... Did that work? Yeah, it did. Okay. I couldn't tell from up here if those were lit up. I think that looks just a little bit cleaner. Fan friggin tastic. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to... run right to the center of here but we're going to use a a double oh that isn't going to work is it because that only works on walls okay yeah well then we don't have much choice we're just going to have to do it this way and I th think yeah that's the center Let's come out here. And I'm going to remove... The top piece. So that should give us seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. And we're going to go straight up here. Oh, we're right at the maximum height. Okay, now now we can go. I know that's floating, but can't do anything about it. It's just the way it is. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to... Um, let's grab a wall... Looks like it's centered. Now we're going to grab floodlights. 
and we're going to stick it one, two, two. Yeah, we'll go up two. One, two. Okay, we'll pull the walls down. And then we're going to do the same thing now on this side. One, two. And there. Get rid of the walls. This needs to be changed to a Mark II. Because it'll have a total of five connections coming off of it. No. Good. Now we're going to grab this and put it in place. And if, if you didn't already know, um, I, you can't connect these to these thingies. That's why I had to do it the way that I did it. So now it looks like they're connected to it, even though technically they're not. And then that kind of creates a a cool looking little floodlight effect around the building. And I believe that's all we need to do up here. Let's just get this piece back in place. And, uh, yeah. It's interesting. It's just, uh, you know, working with what we have, have to work with. I would have preferred to have the proper pieces, you know, for the corners instead of having to do that kind of weird jank thing with the foundations, but on the other hand, it does make for some interesting architecture too, so I kind of like it. Alright guys, so um, we need to uh, the, the final things that need to happen in here is we need to get some lighting in here um, and I need to redo the wiring so it's not all jank looking. As far as the lights go, I think what we'll do is see if we can... There's going to be a, a little bit of clipping happening and it's just the way that it is. I'm not going to... I'm not going to worry about it too much. I, I mean, yeah, it'll probably bug me a little bit, but... I'm just not going to move stuff around at this point. So that's about the center. of that section and it is clipping directly into that conveyor belt if I moved it over one then the conveyor belt's kind of moving through it I mean, it's still touching a little bit, but it's not like directly clipping through it. So let's just go with that for now. Let's see what it's going to look like. Oh, I need some more quick wire. All right, let me go grab some of that. Okay, so this one, um, that's, I think that's the center there. And that's, that one's fine. That's not clipping into anything. Let's go over here. This one I think will be okay too. We'll flip it around so the power's on that side. And put it right there. 
this one, however, I think we're going to have some issues. That's the center. So I guess, uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. It's touching a little bit, but. So the only, the only real jank one is this one here. Um, and it's not atrociously jank, <laughs> you know? I, I wish, you know, and I've said this before, I wish the game would give us more options for interior lighting, but it doesn't. And so this is what we have to work with and it's just gonna have to do. I mean, one thing I guess I could try to do is see if I could move this lift over one notch. Um, let's take that foundation out for a minute. Yeah, no, that's not going to work without also moving the entire machine over. And if I do that, you know, then it's not going to be evenly spaced up here. So I think we're going to just live with it the way that it is. Working with what we have to work with. Okay, so... For the power on these guys... We're going to take and run a connection off you. We'll run that all the way to the center of the room, which is this line right here. Again, we have a little bit of wire clipping, but there's conduit there. Okay, now let's run this right into the center. And I'll think I'll run another one over to this side of the building. Oh, I have that down lower, don't I? Okay, where is it over here? It's underneath the beam. Right, okay, we want to stick with that then. Okay, so we got a central bus there. Now, I think for these guys, we will grab that. Whoops. Yeah. And there's our power connection right there. So I think it's right about there. Okay, is that straight? Yeah, I think so. We'll just run that wire across. Well, no, we don't need to actually do that. Hold on. We'll be neater if we run it from over here. I think that's straight. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. That is definitely not straight. Wait a minute. Do we not have that in the right? Oh, we don't. That needs to come back.
Yeah, we gotta we gotta move this back. Come back to there. All right, we should probably slide it over one that way too. Oh, wait a minute! No, 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 no! We got to slide it way over. It's all about perspective, isn't it? Okay, that's the where where it should be. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna worry about it. And that looks straight from there. Okay. Likewise, uh, this light um, needs to go way back too. So it needs to be back more like about there. Move it one that direction and pull it There. That even gives us some lines to mark it. Okay, so that means then you need to go right about there, I think. And if we're going to do that, okay, hold on a sec. Take that out, run you to there, you to there, and you to here. Why? Okay, why aren't you connecting? Oh, because I was trying to reconnect it back to itself again, so it was creating a loop. That's what the problem was. There we go. All right. Now, let's go down below and... I mean, I think the lighting's decent. It's, I think it's workable. So yeah, we'll go with that. So really the only thing left to do then in here, oh, oh, actually we need an access to the upper floor. That's right. I mean, obviously I can just use my hover to get up there, but we also need to have an actual access. So we could just set up a really simple hyper tube. Uh, I wish we had elevators, actual elevators in the game. That'd be cool. But a hypertube should be a fairly simple solution for getting up and down. Probably we, what we could do is we could set it up here, maybe. What do we want? Transport, yeah. Okay, so... Hypertube entrance. Let's put that... There. Okay, we want horizontal to vertical, and we want 
to go up to here. I think right there. Alright, so let's get a floor hole and stick it right there. Look, knights. Uh, it looks fine vertically, but it's not quite right down here. So I think what we need to do is that. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Okay. Uh, okay, seven. But we want an entrance. There we go. Okay. I want it there and back one. I think that's correct. Uh, what? Why isn't that working? Do I have that the wrong direction? No. That's the right direction. Okay, what if we bring it down from there? There we go. I don't know why that didn't work. It's really weird. Okay, I think that's all straight. All right, and then we'll just uh, have this come. We want it to go, I think, to Noodle. it end right there. Yeah, I just think, you know, elevators would make sense. I know hypertubes are kind of kind of elevators, but actual elevators would uh, would be nice, I think. And then let's put you right there, and then we'll put you over to here. Cable is going through the conduit. And up we go. Oh, you know what? This needs to be an entrance. Right, okay. gonna float whoops <laughs> okay um now we need to, I guess we need to get power up on this side now too so 
the main power. Nah, let's run it from down below here. We'll put that. Hmm. Guess we can put it there. If we run it straight to there, is it going to clip? I think it is, yeah. Alrighty then. That takes care of that. And we have access. The only other thing I'm thinking though is that might look better if it's up off the floor. Put an entrance here. Oh, hold on. I didn't have that in the right mode. I want it to be horizontal vertical. And once again, it doesn't... That is so weird. Run it from the top down, then. It let's me do it from the top down. I don't know what the difference is there. But yeah, that looks a little bit better having that off the floor a bit, I think. Plus, it's consistent with the way it is up here, too. All right, so the only thing left to do is to, you know, redo the wiring... I just want to make it a little neater and maybe not have so many poles and instead having, you know, the wiring come off the walls. Or, or if I do end up using poles, I just want to neaten them up a little bit because I I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to that. I just wanted to get everything up and running. But I will do that off camera. That's going to be an off camera thing. And so other than that, I think we're finished with this building. Came together pretty nicely, I think. Hope you guys like it too. Uh, why don't we get into fly mode, actual fly mode, so I don't, I'm not relying on my hover, so we can kind of get a better bird's eye view of of things. I kind of like the way those lights are shining down off the top too. Here, let's get. Let's get rid of you and you. They're not supposed to be there. Interesting. Wonder if... Uh, oh, I never filled in down here. All right, um, let's bring that up to there. There we go. And this actually needs to be a gate. There. Okay. That takes care of that. But what I was about to say is, this might look better if this is just a window too. Yeah, I think I like that better. So there she is. Let's get a, 
a nice little screenshot here. Maybe right about there-ish. Well, no, we need to we need to have the lights at the top in view. And actually, I need to actually come up and change my angle because the satisfactory logo will probably block some of that in the screenshot otherwise. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Um, maybe we'll get a... different angle shot too just a couple of different options I need to kind of hurry before it gets light out though because the I don't think the lighting will show up quite as well once it gets morning Here, let's get rid of that grid but yep yeah, there it is all right guys well that took longer than uh, I thought it was going to and that's the story of my life so, um, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And like I said, I'll get that wiring taken care of. But the next project before we start moving forward with our, uh, you know, with phase four, phase four is going to take a hell of a lot of time and work to do. But I need to, I need to redo our storage because we're basically out of space. Every, you know, everything that's here is, is being utilized and we have more product. I mean, I already have circuit boards, computers, and aluminum plates that are just being thrown into a temporary storage. Um, so the, the plan for that is that I'm going to, I mean, I could do one of two things and I'm still kind of trying to decide here, let's just go into cheaty fly mode for a second. Still trying to decide how to handle this. One option is to tear everything down and rebuild the storage so that we have two rows of storage, one on each side and with the corridor going this direction. That way, you know, because this is still kind of considered the front, right? Over here. And... But if we do it that way, we can get to the storage from both this side and from the back side. Whereas right now, we technically only get to it from this side. I mean, I can also get to it from the back, and I often do. But, you know, I don't have anything labeled in the back, and we've got all that extra equipment. So it's not very practical. So that's one option. The other option is to, to leave it the way that it is, but go too high and double up on it so instead of having well these are single containers but they're really kind of two containers so instead of having two high we have four high and then we build a catwalk to get to the upper ones um, that would take a little less overall work because we wouldn't have to tear down this whole structure we'd have to tear down parts of it you know the front part of it but we could largely leave the rest of it in place but again, if we do it that way, you know, then it's a little, it's going to be a little more complicated getting at stuff from the other side. Definitely doable. So I'm going to kind of ponder, you know, those two options, but I will show you something before I let you go here. I've already built a new, more streamlined storage configuration. So let's bring, oh, I'm missing steel beams. Okay, let me grab all the stuff I need because I'm going to need actually some more things to, to build it even in the blueprint. Okay, so I have um, my new storage solutions. I have a Mark IV version and now a Mark V version. We're going to use the Mark V version. So let's load that in and let's take a look at it. Okay, so with the old solution I uh, you know I've got smart splitters all over the place I've got mergers I got belts going back and forth and every which way but loose and I've got you know multiple levels of these just to kind of you know accommodate the material you know that's coming into the building 
And I, I also built these in sections of three. So this, you know, that's three storage thingies, that's three storage thingies, and so forth. The new method gives us a total of 12 storage bins. Um, so there's, yeah, so, so we basically have 12 of these. Um, 20, it, it looks like there's 24, but there's 12, right? Because they're the doubles. And then the way that I set this up is I, I made it so that the input can come in from behind instead of from the side because what that will then do is that'll allow us to maybe kind of have like a central bus line of conveyors going down behind and then just branching off as needed. And we can still turn these around and have them, you know, come in from the side too. But the way this works is that the material comes in here and then for this particular smart splitter, whatever product we want to store in, in this bid, we set to the center output and then the right output is just anything else, which is overflow. And then these guys are the same idea, except for that now it's the left put that will be whatever the product is we want to go in here, and the center output will be overflow. And then the rest of these are just the same all the way down until we get to here. And then here we have the center output blocked, and we're throwing the overflow out the right side. The bottom set of smart splitters are set up in exactly the same way. And then this just adds, merges onto this belt, and then this belt goes off to the awesome sink for the overflow. Now, if you're wondering why I, you know, set this to overflow instead of any, the problem that I ran into when I was testing this is that if you set that to any, then it'll sometimes also pass through the, the product you're trying to store. It'll still throw it in here but sometimes it'll pass through it's almost it almost acts like a normal splitter at that point so you have to set this to overflow which basically you know will will not bring them the product you're trying to store out there until it is indeed in an overflow state and then everything else is already technically overflow and it'll it'll pass through and it works really good now this is obviously what we call the um the sushi method in other words we have multiple product on a single belt but with mark 5 belts it goes so fast you know it's it, it it'll never you know uh back it up it, it, the belts are so fast that it doesn't matter and again i have tested this and it does seem to work very well so it's really then like i said just a matter of if i'm going to do this same configuration over here but make them too high which means we'd have to pull this roof off and kind of redo some of that or if I'm gonna tear this entire facility down and redo it from the ground up and do two rows you know going this direction that would be the long-term better solution I think but it's gonna be a hell of a lot of work because not only do I need to tear all this stuff down but we already have jam-packed bins of product. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with all that stuff too. So I mean, I guess what I could do is just keep a a, a, a few stacks of all of it and then just send it all to the sink to a sink with Mark 5 belts to get rid of it. Or I you know, build more storage temporary storage out here and I move it into that storage but then I have to move it back and I don't know that's going to be such a pain in the ass so I'll probably just sink it all at, but I will keep you know I'll, I'll keep a couple of two or three or four or whatever stacks of each product if I need them for something and sink the rest just to get rid of that stuff And of course, uh, oh, there is one other thing I need to do over here too. Um, I'm going to, so, so this belt has four product on it and this belt has four product on it. And then the, this middle belt has three of the assembler products on it. The reinforced plate, the rotors, and the uh, modular frames. Each section of our setup over here can take in six product, right? So this will take in a total of six product and this row will take in a total of six product. So what I think I'm gonna do 
is change things on the other end over by our original factory and essentially add two of these products to one belt and the other to that belt and do away with this. So we only have two inputs and that will cover then everything coming from that in in terms of storage. And then this, of course, you know, this is a different set of product that we'll have to have yet another section for, but which we can do. Okay, so yeah, that's the that gives you the overall um, idea. But again, I, I don't feel like we can move forward and start making even more product and you know new new items without redoing our storage. Because again, I don't I don't want to keep it going down that way because it's going to screw this up A and B. It's just going to make one really long storage thing, and and accessibility will be. We'll have to travel too too far to get to everything is right. So hopefully that all makes sense and you guys get the basic idea. And um I don't know how much of that I'm gonna do on camera because it's just gonna be a lot of tedious work. I may even just build the whole damn thing and then show you the end result of it. Or maybe I will show some of it. We'll see. That is going to be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.